video, you're going to see two different ways for creating a time to climb activity or assessment. Let's get started. The first way is to go into your already created lesson that has an existing quiz in it, like this one. All you'd have to do is select your quiz and click the time to climb button here. And this will allow you to convert your quiz into a time to climb. I'm not going to click accept on this one because this example of a quiz does have images in my questions as reference media and it will not allow um, this quiz to transition correctly. So now I'm going to show you how to create your quiz from scratch or your time to climb from scratch. So the second way to create a time to climb is by clicking on add slide, go to the activities tab, and then clicking on time to climb. Nearpod does have a time to climb library that you can go ahead and search through either by a, um, that you can search through by a topic or grade level. There's great filtering tools for that, and you can select one that meets your needs or a time to climb activity that is close to what you need and then edit it. But we're not going to do that one in this example. So just like in quiz, you have your field where you type in your question. You have the ability to add a reference image only on time to climb and you add in your question or your answers here. Now what is different from quizzes is that in Time to Climb, you are able to select images to be your answer choices as opposed to having text only. For this Time to Climb example, I'm going to go ahead and pull my questions from STEM scopes. Have over here. So this is the progress monitoring, and I'm just going to copy and paste my question and answers in there. I'm going to go ahead and do this for two more questions, and then I'll meet back with you. Okay, so now that I've added in all my questions, have selected what the correct answer should be, and added in my reference images. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now my Time to Climb activity has been created.